As a history major, one of the things I find most interesting in movies and TV shows is using them as primary sources. Uh, the Wire can now be used as a primary source for looking at the early 2000s, because it was first aired in 2002. Although the show only shows one part of American society at the time, it brings an in-depth look at how the contemporary politics affected almost every level of Baltimore. This means that The Wire can be used to study the politics and the effects that they had on Baltimore as a city. It can also be used to study how at least some of the American population thought about these politics. The Wire was popular enough to last for five seasons, even though it dove into some very difficult topics, meaning that there was a substantial group of people who agreed with the critiques the show offered. One of the issues that The Wire addresses is the effect that the September 11th terrorist attacks had on local politics. This first scene that I'm going to show you is from Season 1, Episode 1 of The Wire, and it features FBI, an FBI agent, Fitz, and police detective McNulty discussing the drug war. I was to inform us, Jimmy, you can pick him. He's one of the better CIs I've ever worked. You up on a wire? That and more. Yeah, like, right. he's talking like he got some type of record here, yeah, you know. What are you, just some shit you said again? Pussy. Oh, nigga, you ain't have pussy. Pussy has you. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Pretty fucking great, huh? How'd you get this on tape? It's not tape. That's live, brother. It's live? Live from a three-story walk-up on Homer Avenue in the bottoms of Pimlico. Well, this is going on right now? As we speak. How? Fiber optic lensing. Camera's behind a hole in the drywall. So small, looks like a nail might have made it. <laughs> Where's the mic? These motherfuckers sound great. Two remotes behind the baseboard heating ducts. That's about 3K or on the table today. We followed all the way from New York. You up in New York on this? We could be. We're backing into some Dominicans up there. We could have a Title III on them right now if we wanted. Wrong war, brother. Most of the squad's been transferred to counterterrorism. This thing's the last drug case we got pending. I gotta shut it down by the end of the month. You guys are getting out of drugs? Yeah, for a while, yeah. We just don't have the manpower to stand anything big. Not since those towers fell. What, we don't have enough love in our hearts for two wars? <laughs> Joke's on us, huh? I guess so. Still in all, you give great case, brother. I wish you could have worked it with us. This scene shows just how much was possible to do to stop the war on drugs, but because of the politics, the police didn't have the ability to do as much as they should have been able to. This scene makes a very blatant political statement that causes the viewers frustration for the rest of the series. Another critique that the show offers is the emphasis on statistics that police departments were forced to face. The Hamsterdam scheme shows this frustration because the emphasis on statistics meant that the police departments were removed from local concerns and actual people. This scene is from season three of The Wire and features a CompStat meeting featuring the heads of the different police units. Gentlemen, the word from on high is that felony rates, district by district, will decline by 5% before the end of the year. We are dealing in certainties. You will reduce the UCR felonies by 5% or more, or... And I've always wanted to say this. Let no man come back alive. In addition, we will hold this year's murders to 275 or less. Christ. Feeling a little phased, Colonel Forster? A little dyspeptic? This who? No, sir. I'm good to go. Here's a fun fact for you people. If Baltimore had New York's population, we'd be clocking 4,000 murders a year at this rate. There is no excuse I will accept. I don't care how you do it. Just fucking do it. Uh, Deputy, as uh, familiar as we all are with the urban crime environment, uh, I think we all understand there are certain uh, uh, processes by which you can uh, reduce the number of overall felonies. You can uh, reclassify a nag assault or you can unfound a robbery, but uh, how do you make a body disappear? There isn't one of you in this room who isn't here by appointment. If you want to continue wearing those oak clusters, you will shut up and step up. Any of you who can't bring in the numbers we need will be replaced by someone who can. 
That is all. These critiques, as well as many others offered by The Wire, show just how frustrated people were with politics. Restrictions on law enforcement and the simultaneous emphasis on statistics led to local systems dictated by those who did not understand the local issues. As a primary source, The Wire is a valuable look at local issues in the early 2000s. It captures a unique and important moment in history and the frustrations faced in local politics and the effects that it had on the community as a whole.